Our top story tonight on this coming Tuesday, we will learn which counties in Washington will get to stay in phase three and which ones will have to move back to phase two. And right now there is a strong possibility that Spokane County will have to go back to phase two. In order to avoid that, we'll need to meet one of two metric goals, either have fewer than 200 cases per 100,000 people over a two week span or have fewer than five hospitalizations per 100,000 people over a one week span. So do we have a shot at that? Our Casey Decker crunched the numbers tonight. In the last phase report, there was a pretty significant lag in the data. And last week with some math, we were able to determine that if there was a similar lag in this report, Spokane County would definitely be going back to phase two. But then we got some possibly good news from the governor's office. It looks like there won't be any lag in the data this time. They'll be incorporating numbers all the way up through Sunday. So in theory, at least, there's some hope we could improve our numbers and get ourselves under at least one of the thresholds required to stay in phase three. So what exactly would we have to do for that to happen? Well, based on our county's population, here are the maximum totals we can have. No more than 1,045 cases between April 19th and this Sunday, or no more than 26 hospitalizations between April 26th and Sunday. As of today, we're at 1,243 cases and 18 hospitalizations, according to the Spokane Regional Health District dashboard. So when it comes to cases, we've clearly already failed that metric. Unless the data the state uses is significantly different from what the health district is reporting, there's no chance we meet our case rate target. As for hospitalizations, maybe we have some hope there. Between today and Sunday, we can't have more than eight more hospitalizations. That's an average of fewer than three a day, and we have haven't had a day with fewer than three hospitalizations in weeks, so it's highly unlikely. But if there's a prayer of staying in phase three, that's where you'd find it. And again, all this depends on the state using the same data that the health district is reporting, which was not the case last time. And it depends on there being no lag in the data, which was also not the case last time. We'll learn for sure on Tuesday when Governor Inslee makes his announcement. Casey Decker, Crem2 News.